first official tow day of the Ford Tremor. Let's see how she does. Getting an idea where you're going. And that does it for you. These cameras are nice. We're hooked up. They can put our mirrors out. Another really nice feature. You can see you're back in there. Trailer, trailer towing tie. I'd say we're towing 3,000 pounds. So nothing radical, but so far, can't tell her she's pulling out here. Feel a little bit of her, feel a little bit of her on that kind of grunt getting off the line there. Nothing radical. Drive mode, so let's go to trailer here. Tow haul. All right. Let's see what that does for us. All right, pulling out the main road now. A little gas. My pickup. Feels strong. Yeah, like nothing. And I know, you've got a 3,000, 3,500 pound trailer behind you, that ain't much for towing. But the good news is, you don't really know she's bad. It's just nothing, like butter. Once you kind of get her going, it's like butter, nothing. And of course, that's where you're gonna feel it, is in the pulling time, when you have to come off the line, go up the hills. Another nice feature on the truck is we've got adaptive crews so that you can Keep your foot off the gas and brake with the trailer hooked up. So, okay, so my assessment with the 4.3 gears, 10 speed auto, it's a really nice setup because you really do have that low, good torque pull feel from this. I just put 6.21 tons of gravel in the back of this thing. So between truck and trailer, I'd have to honestly say uh, we're talking 15K right here. So I would say 14 plus. So let's see how she does now. All right, here we go. My daughter's making a good point. This is a 15.2 bumper pull. 
and right now we're at 15, we're at 15, we're right there. She's pulling good, man. For the most part, I guess. We're gonna find out when we get a little speed here going. Going up a hill here, back roads. Yeah, she, pulled, she definitely pulls, man. So 15,000 on bumper pull. She pulls, which that's pretty damn good for a gasoline engine in that amount of, in that amount of uh, weight. It's rock solid back there too, so suspension and all. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you don't really know that much weight's back there as far as how the bed feels. You know because of what you're pulling, but it's it's rock solid. You're coming into a corner right now and. Got, Rocks flying over the truck from out of that area. Yeah, nice. Feels good. So we're downshifting coming down a hill. She does a good job on that. Managing the transmission and keep in mind that I'm used to riding around the diesel exhaust. Got my brake, electric rod, taking off from dead stand still. Four or three gears are nice right now. Maybe you can hear or not. Good shift points. So it's a solid, it's a good solid pull. Not bad at all. You won't be disappointed with this gas motor. That's good. Sweet. Coming up a hill. She kicks down. She's in sixth gear. Fourth gear. Keep in mind, I'm at 800 miles. For me, I'd rather be a little over 1,000 before I really start pushing this thing too hard on trailering. Usually, uh, you don't want to get too radical. That's my feelings. It was good. I mean, you really don't feel that trailer back there much. So that's good to know. Solid. Confident. And we're going down back roads, so kind of keep that in mind. Let's see how she does downshifting. Kind of going into corners and stuff. Does a good job. We're in third gear. So a ten, this 10 speed train is really nice. It manages the appropriate gears. You're coming up the hill now. That's how she does. She gears down here to fourth. We're on fourth. Pulling pretty good. Once again, I'm not wanting to max her out right now in this towing. As far as really just getting into her hard. Down a hill, so get an idea as she kicks down. She goes to third. Wow, second gear. Interesting. Yeah, she's pretty uh, she's pretty aggressive on that downhill gearing. She does really well. The gas engine, the seven three motor, is a, definitely a winner in my eyes. All right, coming up another hill. Got a lot of hills back here, and I don't really want to max out the motor too much, but I guess we'll have to here, because she's now in second gear, pulling. Yeah, we needed that second gear for that hill. That's a pretty good grade, though. It's a pretty steep hill there. We're still going up a hill. So she pulls. It doesn't get her geared right. Definitely the gearing in that rear end is huge on the capability of this truck. If you didn't have that gearing and 10 speed tranny, yeah, it'd be more challenging. But definitely uh, the gearing is to the advantage of this gasoline engine. All right, now going to the other side. So she's definitely a second gear tranny going down hills and you're going to slower speeds. Since you don't have like a diesel engine with that diesel exhaust brake. Pretty aggressive. We're in third gear. Our 
40 miles an hour. We're coming to a pretty steep grade right now. So she'll kick down to second gear once I put the brake on. Yep, there she is. So, uh, you're doing a lot of back road and a lot of hills. Definitely going to be a lot of second gear driving if, you know, you're at these slower speeds. Of course, if you're higher speeds, no. She, she kicks back into third. Yeah, she's back into third. So once you, if you're in that 40 mile an hour range, she's in fourth gear now. So once you get down those lower ranges, so here we come down. This would be a pretty good example. She'll probably kick to third right here. Second. No, nope, she did. Interesting. Now since we're on the descent, she definitely hauls butt again. Good deal. Nice. Gotta love a dump trailer. This is about my third or fourth one in the last 15, at least 15 years, 16 years. When you buy these things, you don't think you'll use them, and huh, you use them. This is the nicest one I've bought yet with the dual piston. 16K GVW.